Kim, you and Taylor Swift, still a beef with Taylor after all that went down? No, squash. Over it. Over it. Good. And have you two had any communication or you just feel like we've all moved on? No, I feel like we've all moved on. Okay. We have an audio recording. Shut the up. I'm not. Shut the up. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is Kanye, hold on. In the latest Hollywood saga, Kim Kardashian is in emotional turmoil after a Taylor Swift diss while Kris Jenner is in crisis mode. But what's even more shocking, her daughter Northwest humiliates Kim with her controversial actions. Taylor Swift just came for Kim Kardashian in her new song, Thank You, Amy. In case you don't know, Taylor came out with not one, but two albums tonight. And one of her new 31 songs is called Thank You, Amy. If you notice, the K, I, and M are capitalized spelling out Kim. Not so subtle. Today, the spotlight is shining brightly on the realm of celebrity, especially if your name happens to be Kim Kardashian. It seemed that the reverberations of a seismic shift in her career trajectory are finally being felt. What's causing this seismic activity, you might ask? Well, it appears that Taylor Swift has emerged as the catalyst, heralding a new chapter in the ongoing saga between these two prominent figures. Let's dissect this unfolding drama further. In recent days, Kim Kardashian has experienced a notable exodus from her Instagram following, a staggering loss of 120,000 followers. This decline, while seemingly just a number, carries significant weight in the world of social media dynamics. You see, the Kardashians, known for their ubiquitous presence and influence, have often been scrutinized for artificially inflating their follower counts. So, when individuals actively choose to disconnect from Kim's digital domain, it's not just a statistical blip, it's a resounding message of dissent. What makes this exodus particularly fascinating is its organic nature. Unlike the influx of bots that can be purchased to boost one's online presence, these lost followers represent real people expressing genuine dissatisfaction with Kim's recent actions. It's a tangible manifestation of public sentiment that cannot be dismissed or manipulated. Furthermore, it's important to acknowledge the psychology behind these unsubscribes. Taking the proactive step of unfollowing someone on social media requires a certain level of frustration and disillusionment. It's a deliberate action, a conscious choice to disassociate yourself from a particular person or brand. In Kim Kardashian's case, the fact that 120,000 people were moved to take this step speaks volumes about the depth of their dissatisfaction. But let's not limit our focus to those who hit the unsubscribe button. Behind this visible wave of unsubscriptions lies an even larger audience, one that is silently watching, forming opinions based on Kim's behavior and the fallout. These silent spectators, potentially numbering in the hundreds of thousands, if not millions, are equally influential in shaping public perception. In essence, what we're witnessing is more than a numerical decline in Kim Kardashian's Instagram following. It's a seismic shift in the dynamics of celebrity influence driven by genuine public sentiment and the undeniable power of social media. And while the numbers may fluctuate, the impact of this episode will reverberate across the digital landscape for some time to come. Surely it's worth exploring the recent developments surrounding the Kardashian family and the implications of their actions, particularly with regard to Kim's social media following and the role of her daughter North in shaping her public image. First, it's important to contextualize the Kardashian phenomenon within the broader landscape of celebrity culture. For years, the Kardashians have dominated headlines in social media platforms, cultivating a brand built on extravagance, controversy, and unfiltered access to their personal lives. Their rise to fame has been marked by a savvy understanding of digital marketing and an unparalleled ability to capitalize on the public's curiosity. Recent events, however, have exposed cracks in the Kardashian facade of invincibility. The revelation that Kim has experienced a significant decline in her social media following, particularly in the wake of Taylor Swift's provocative song release, serves as a poignant reminder of the ephemeral nature of fame in the digital age. It underscores the reality that even the most influential figures are vulnerable to public backlash 
and shifting cultural tides. Let's now turn our attention to the role of Northwest, Kim's eldest daughter, in this unfolding narrative. At just 10 years old, North has found herself thrust into the spotlight, accompanying her mother to high profile events and appearing on social media feeds in designer clothes and makeup. While some may see this as harmless family bonding or innocent fun, others see it as symptomatic of a broader trend of commodifying celebrity children for public consumption. The decision to present North as an emerging adult style icon raises a number of ethical questions. Is it appropriate to expose a child to the pressures and scrutiny of the fashion industry at such a young age? Are the Kardashians exploiting North's innocence and vulnerability in their quest for relevance and cultural capital? These are complex questions that speak to larger debates about parental responsibility, celebrity culture, and the commodification of childhood. Moreover, the Kardashians' insistence on including North in their public persona speaks to a broader pattern of prioritizing image maintenance over genuine human connection. By blurring the lines between family life and brand promotion, they risk commodifying their own familial relationships and perpetuating harmful stereotypes about beauty, success, and self-worth. In conclusion, the recent revelations surrounding Kim Kardashian's social media following and the role of her daughter North underscore the complexities and contradictions inherent in modern celebrity culture. As society grapples with questions of authenticity, accountability, and the ethics of fame, the Kardashians serve as a powerful reminder of the powers and pitfalls of living in the public eye. By all means, let's delve deeper into the intricacies of the ongoing saga involving Kim Kardashian, Taylor Swift, and the ubiquitous figure of Kanye West. This tangled web of celebrity drama isn't just about superficial conflicts, it's a reflection of the power, dynamics, personal agendas, and cultural influences that shape the entertainment industry. First, the inclusion of Kanye's name adds a layer of complexity to the narrative. As a highly influential figure in both the music and fashion worlds, his endorsement, or lack thereof, of Kim's actions carries weight. It raises questions about the extent of his involvement in shaping the public personas of both Kim and their daughter, North. Indeed, Kanye's preferences for women, as evidenced by his past relationships, offer insight into the type of image he may desire for his family. Moreover, the comparison between Kim and Bianca, a figure who presumably represents a certain archetype favored by Kanye, invites speculation about the standards of beauty and success perpetuated in celebrity circles. It asks us to consider the pressures women like Kim face to conform to a narrow definition of desirability, often at the expense of authenticity and individuality. Yet, amidst these reflections on Kanye's preferences and Kim's adherence to them, lies a deeper narrative of female empowerment and agency. Taylor Swift's latest song release with its pointed references to Kim's mother and past controversies serves as a powerful assertion of her autonomy and reclaiming of narrative control. It's a reminder that behind the glitz and glamour of celebrity culture, real people are dealing with real emotions and real consequences. The influx of Swifties onto Kim's social media platforms, coupled with the palpable decline in her follower count, speaks volumes about the lasting impact of Taylor's retaliation. It's not just about numerical metrics, it's about the erosion of Kim's carefully constructed facade and the exposure of vulnerabilities beneath the surface. In a world where image is everything, such cracks in the armor can have far-reaching implications. Moreover, attempts to frame this conflict as a mere beef between celebrities overlook the power dynamics at play. Taylor's acknowledgement of Kim's role as the mastermind behind past controversies from the infamous snake emoji incident to the stage scandals reframes the narrative. It's not just about interpersonal conflicts, it's about systemic issues within the entertainment industry from misogyny to manipulation that perpetuate toxic dynamics. 
In sum, the ongoing saga involving Kim Kardashian, Taylor Swift, and Kanye West goes beyond mere celebrity gossip. It's a reflection of broader societal issues and power struggles within the entertainment industry. By unpacking the nuances of this drama, we gain insight into the complexities of fame, identity, and the quest for authenticity in an image obsessed world. Here in our circle, we may indulge in trivial matters, but there's a certain satisfaction in witnessing Taylor Swift emerge as a formidable challenger to Kim Kardashian's reign. It's a long-awaited development, especially given the reservations many of us have about the Kardashian clan. We've seen them capitalize on trends, sometimes crossing the line into cultural appropriation and perpetuate harmful ideals of beauty and success rooted in toxic capitalism. Indeed, the Kardashian sisters, with the exception of the one who married Travis, have often been portrayed as victims of the very system they benefit from. Despite their outward displays of opulence and success, there's an underlying sense of self-doubt and insecurity, exacerbated by their relentless pursuit of perfection in a world that values image above all else. In the midst of this turmoil, Kim's silence has been deafening. As her fans clamor for a response, many have turned to her formidable mother and manager, Kris Jenner, for guidance. Known for her deft handling of the family's trials and tribulations, Kris has a knack for turning controversy into career opportunities. However, even she may find it challenging to navigate this particular storm. Some claim that Kim remains unfazed by the criticism, pointing to her recent talk show appearance where she brushed off any concerns with a nonchalant demeanor. But her calculated move to address the issue indirectly through the show's host suggests otherwise. By using the platform to convey her indifference to Taylor's actions, Kim is sending a clear message. She refuses to be rattled by the criticism. Ultimately, this clash between two pop culture titans reflects larger themes of power, influence, and the relentless pursuit of relevance in an ever-changing landscape. As spectators, we may be drawn to the spectacle, but it's important to remember the real-world implications of this feud and the broader societal issues it represents. Sure, let's delve further into the intricacies of the ongoing saga, between Kim Kardashian and Taylor Swift and the broader implications it holds within the realm of celebrity culture and societal values. First, in Calabasas, the affluent enclave where Kim resides, the concept of being undisturbed takes on a nuanced meaning. In a world where appearances are meticulously curated and public perception is carefully managed, Kim's calculated response to the controversy speaks volumes about the intricacies of celebrity image management. Despite claims of being unfazed, her actions, such as dressing up for a talk show appearance, suggest a degree of preoccupation with public opinion. This phenomenon highlights the complicated dance between authenticity and performance in the world of celebrity. While Kim may project an image of confidence and indifference, her willingness to engage in PR tactics to control the narrative exposes the underlying tensions between personal identity and public persona. Moreover, the reactions of fans and observers further illuminate the complexities of celebrity fandom and public perception. Some individuals are quick to criticize Kim and her mother, Kris Jenner, for their perceived silence on the matter, urging them to use their influence to address the controversy head on. Others speculate about Chris's potential strategies for turning the feud into a strategic opportunity, reflecting the public's fascination with celebrity drama and its commercial potential. Additionally, there is a segment of fans who see Taylor Swift's actions as a testament to Kim's enduring legacy in pop culture. By dedicating a song to Kim, Swift inadvertently acknowledges her as a significant figure, regardless of the outcome of their feud. This perspective underscores the enduring impact of Kim's influence on contemporary culture, despite the criticism and controversy that has surrounded her career. But amid the speculation and fanfare, there is a deeper critique of the Kardashian brand and its social impact. Some argue that the Kardashian phenomenon perpetuates harmful beauty standards and materialistic values, fostering a culture of comparison and self-doubt among its followers. 
As the influence of the Kardashian family continues to grow, so does the scrutiny of their impact on societal norms and values. In sum, the ongoing saga between Kim Kardashian and Taylor Swift serves as a microcosm of broader debates about celebrity culture, authenticity, and societal values. As the drama unfolds, it invites us to reflect on the complexities of fame, identity, and power dynamics in the modern age. As the conversation continues, it's important to consider the deeper implications of this view on our perceptions of fame and influence.